I grew up around a lot of violence and a lot of gang members. And my brother was actually, he was in the gang. So, you know, boys would come in and out the house and I would see a lot of, you know, guns and all of that. So that's pretty much what I grew up around. But I was mostly about family. My name is Kayla Bryan, I'm 15. My nationality is black in Samoan. It's fun to learn like your culture because it's different things out there. Like my black side, I eat black food. My Samoan side, I eat Samoan food. Like I go to church with my mom, she's Samoan. I go to their Samoan church, I go to my dad's church, he's black. So it's just, it's a difference though. It's a big difference, so that's fun. Samoans like getting tattoos, tribals. Like my grandfather, he, he was the chief in Samoa. So he had like a big tribal tattoo like from his stomach down to his knee like. So that's how big tattoos are out there. The environment I grew up around, it doesn't affect who I am because I can learn from it. Like I know right from wrong. So yeah, it just teaches me right from wrong. Like don't do this and don't do that. The shooting with my mom, I was young. So I was at least about 10 or 11. So I didn't know what a gun was. So I'm thinking one hit and you die. Like I was crying, it was horrible. Like. I didn't know what to think. I was just going crazy. Like my cousin, she was telling me like, calm down, like she's not dead. Like, and it just, it really, it affected me because I thought she was gonna die. But at the end it was just like, okay, this is just a come up. Like we got to get out the hood. Like that's basically it. So my birthday was coming up. So I wanted this outfit that costed some money. Like, and my mom was telling me like, no, you're not gonna get it. You're not getting it. Me not knowing she's getting it for me for my birthday, but just wasn't telling me. I was being stupid, like if she not gonna get it for me, I'm gonna get it one way, so I'm going out robbing somebody. <laughs> so I went out, I did the little robbery. They caught me, me and my friends. We thinking it's cool to go to juvenile, but when I really got in there, I was just like, this is not cool. Like looking around, looking at all the crazy people. I'm the only one looking normal. I'm like, what, what am I doing here? Like, what am I here for? Like. And it was just, and then she finally told me when I got in there, like, I got you the outfit, like, why did you go out robbing? I'm like, well, you should have told me you got me the outfit then, like, so that was basically it. My mentality now is you don't have to, you don't have to get everything you want unless you work hard for it. In the end, you'll get it. I'm on probation, so they have groups for me every now and then to go to, like, Asian recovering groups. It's basically a girls group where we talk, girl talk about anything. And I also go to CYMC. We just learn a lot of filming and we laugh, we joke, learn filming, get close, learn and have fun. I go to all my groups so I could get off probation early and live my life. And I'm trying to get a job and do good in high school. I like mysterious things and I grew up a lot around people killing people and people not knowing who did it. When I go to college, I'm trying to study criminal justice and work my way up to be a big time lawyer. Some important things I go by is, one, never settle for less, because it's a lot of kids I see in the streets who wanna fight all the time and wanna be on the streets being ratchet or racket, whatever y'all call it. So. My thing is never settle for less. If you want to go to college, you go to college because you could do whatever you want to do and just be family oriented. Like be there for your family whenever they need you because they were there for you. That's it.